With my homemade chili and pepper sauce, the fried rice will get the perfect kick of spice and taste. Hi everyone and welcome back to one more video of All Light Food and today I'm going to make a very simple fried rice recipe which I'm going to cook in my homemade chili and pepper sauce. And the good thing about this sauce is that this is super hot and spicy and goes great with Indo-Chinese, Thai or any mild spice or less flavored recipes. So first I'm going to make the sauce and for that here I have taken around 15 to 16 whole dry red chilies and 1 fourth cup of black peppercorns. So to make the chili and pepper sauce, first I'm going to take the dry red chilies and the black peppercorns in bowls and add hot water and let it to soak for 30 minutes. So the hot water is going to make the chilies and the peppercorns soft and easier to make them into smooth paste. So it's been 30 minutes and my chilies and peppercorns are ready to go to the grinder. So to grind the chilies and the peppercorns, first I'm going to remove it from the water and put it in the blender. And next I'm going to remove the peppercorns from the water and straight to the blender. Now to this I'm going to add 1 4th cup of vinegar and 2 tablespoons of salt. And now I'm going to blend it to a smooth paste. So the vinegar and salt will act as the preservatives and you can store this sauce in the fridge for like 2-3 to three months. Look at this, this is looking perfect. I'll just keep the sauce in a semi-thick consistency to keep the flavors concentrated. And now I'm just going to take this out and store the sauce in a jar. Put it in your fridge and use whenever you want. So the sauce is ready, now let's quickly make the fried rice. So before starting the recipe, I'm just going to quickly scramble two eggs for the fried rice. Add a tablespoon of oil to the pan. And now, I'll quickly crack two eggs. The first egg, second egg. I'm going to add the scrambled egg at the end. A pinch of salt and quickly scramble it. Just take this out on a plate and keep it aside. To make the fried rice, first I'm going to add 2 tablespoons of olive oil to the pan. And when the oil is warm, I'm going to add half cup of chopped beans and carrots. Fry for a couple of seconds. Next, cauliflower cut into small pieces. Fry for a minute. Next, finely shredded cabbage. Fry again for a second. So these vegetables are not going to take a long time to cook. So on a high heat, just fry them for a minute or two. Next, I'm going to add the sugar snap peas. So as you can see, the vegetables are almost fried. Time to add the rice. So here I'm adding 2 cup of half cooked basmati rice. You can also add brown rice. And now I'll give it a quick stir. Just make sure to mix all the ingredients nicely together. So now I'm going to add just a pinch of salt because as you know that we have already added a lot of salt to our sauce. And now I'm going to add the scrambled egg to the fried rice and give it a quick mix. So the fried rice is perfectly cooked and finally I'm going to add 1 tablespoon of homemade chili and pepper sauce. So the strong flavors of chili and peppers is really making it aromatic. So the fried rice is always cooked on a high heat, so make sure to fry the rice with the veggies quickly on high temperature. Wow, that's looking perfect. And now it's ready and I'm going to serve it on a plate. And finally, it's time to taste. I'm sure you enjoyed the video. I'll see you in one more video. Till then, goodbye, take care and stay healthy. And make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, comment and share. Goodbye.